What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Thanks for rocking with me on another video. So today I need to climb under the wagon and pull the div cover because I need to figure out the uh, gear ratio in that rear axle. I need to send the ECM off and get it reprogrammed, but I can't do that until I get the gear ratio for the rear end because the guy that's doing the work for me says he needs the what transmission I'm running with the tire size and the gear ratio in the rear end. Now I know the other two, but the gear ratio I can't find like on the internet somewhere or, or anything like that. I can't figure out what the gear ratio is. I'm sure it's somewhere like, I don't know, 323s or something like that, but we're gonna have to figure this out. And I need to pop the cover off anyway because based on the condition of the rest of the fluids that came out of the car uh, that that rear gear oil is probably due for a change anyway so let's get started shall we okay here we are I'm a drain pan down here this here it's a Chevy 10 bolt they came in basically everything Chevy made from smaller passenger cars to the wagons, to half-ton trucks, uh, the Blazers all had them. These things were everywhere for Chevy. For about a, I don't know, probably a 30-year window, I would say. So parts for these things are literally everywhere. So I've got a half-inch socket here, and my little buddy gonna need some type of chisel a screwdriver um, anything like that will work and a persuasion stick and a paint marker now I'm gonna zap these bolts out but it's kind of loud so I'm just going to put you up on time-lapse pull the bolts out and then I'll bring you back Take your div cover off. Make damn sure that you put one bolt back in one of these um, top holes. Because if you don't, it's going to make a big ass mess. So, this bolt here, and I couldn't just leave the top bolt in place because it was holding the Z brake cable in. So, I had to release it to get the other two upper bolts out but uh let's get this cover popped off shall we there we go yeah it's uh not as bad as i expected but it's still pretty nasty and be uh <laughs> happy you can't smell what this is because this does not smell like a very good thing let's get the rest of the way off and have a look-see oh yeah the thing in there actually looks surprisingly good I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. 
This car was never beat on or abused. An old man owned it and just uh, drove it to work. Took it fishing. They never had kids, so it wasn't like there was the worry of a teenager doing something stupid in it, you know what I mean? Let's see what we got here. Damn it, my transmission's in park. Hold on, I gotta go put it in neutral, I'll be right back. Okay, here we are. Now, there is, let's see if I can get you guys in to see it. Right here, there's some numbers stamped in these gears. See that? Now they say, they say that you can identify the ring and pinion by these numbers. I'm sure it's true. I just have never done it that way. I've always counted the teeth. Now there's a bunch of different ways that you can calculate ring and pinion gears using these numbers here which I believe it would be the 15 and 41 but I'm not 100% sure but one way is off these numbers another way is to count driveline revolutions compared to tie revolutions but I don't know how to do that one either so the way I choose to do it I just take a paint pen mark on one of the teeth here because, you know, this shit just wipes right off anyway. But, so you mark on your ring gear, as well as your pinion. Then you just rotate them, and you count them. So, start here, okay? One, two, three. Okay, now you gotta do the same thing in here, inside here, way up in here, this big gear you can see right here on the bottom, you have to count those teeth, so we got one, two, you know, paint washed off of this thing, I don't know if this paint is going to work or not. It may end up getting washed off. Let's see here. One. Whoa, that is way too fast. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so. The numbers that I talked about earlier on this ring gear <laughs> was the formula for the gear set. And now I feel like an idiot, but also feel like I just learned something. Now, since I use my phone to record my video, I have to stop the video, do the calculations, and then come back. By the way, the formula that I was taught is the driven gear, so 41, divided by the drive gear. So the ring gear is your driven gear, your pinion gear is your driven, or your drive gear. This gear divided by that gear. So the formula is 41 divided by 15, because that was our tooth count. Now we're gonna clean this off. And it looks to me like this is an actual gasket that somebody just put 
a layer of silicone on top of to help it seal. See, here? Might actually be two gaskets. Or one really, really thick one. That be the case, I don't know that I want to compromise it by trying to rip it apart. I may just clean this up real nice, stick some more silicone on there, and send it. See what happens. So you let me know what is your preferred method of deleting silicone off your diff covers. I use just a little two inch scraper, but I keep that thing with a razor point on it. Matter of fact, I just got done sharpening this thing. Like I've, I've actually hurt myself, like slipped and, and stabbed myself in the thumb a few times with this thing. And straight up, not a good time. Would not recommend. Yeah, that's definitely a good gasket that they used. They just, like I said, used a small bead of silicone to uh, make it stick. Huh. Good to know. I think what I might try to do is try to get as much of this orange silicone off as I can and uh, leave the gasket in place. It's the first time I've ever pulled a 10 bolt cover. Well, this is the first time I've ever pulled a diff cover, period, that actually had the gasket. Every other one I've ever pulled has just had a layer like that of just silicone wedged all over it. And then they just torque the bolts down to Jesus and put them back together. Of course, most of the things that I take the diff covers off of are uh, raggedy chip boxes that you really shouldn't be looking into the differentials on anyway. But when you're like me, you can't leave shit alone. So that's how we end up in this situation here. Oh, and just so you're aware, I did the math, and as it turns out, that wagon has a 273 gear in it, which means on the highway, that thing was probably incredibly happy because it has a 700R4, which is an overdrive transmission. So on the highway, we'll say, I don't know, 65, it was probably under 2000 RPMs, but with that anemic gutless 305 that that car had, I bet it was a really, really nice ride on the highway. It, it wasn't a powerhouse, and I guarantee you it wasn't fast by any stretch of the word, but it was probably a really nice, really quiet, peaceful highway ride, especially with that, you know, that G body suspension. They just Man, they float. They ride so nice. But, now we have our gear ratio. And I'm going to spend the next, like, 15 minutes out here like a psychopath. Removing orange silicone from a rubber gasket. Or, a, yeah, a felt gasket. And, uh, going to put it back on. Not put any fluid in it, because I don't have any fluid. So, going to have to go into town and get some but for now we're done with this project now I have what I need to send the ECM off <laughs> don't use a scraper if you're trying to get silicone off of an existing gasket just get your rag these are just the cheap cloth rags that you can buy from Harbor Freight Look at this. It just rubs right off. This is definitely not going to be the 15 minute project that I initially thought it was. 
because look at that it just peels right off it's amazing I'm gonna get back to this and I'll be back with you guys in a minute sock check homie you ain't gonna catch me out here slacking with no short socks on calf highs are a way of life love them or hate them you ain't gonna catch me slacking with socks down they're up or they're on it they're nothing so got all the silicone cleaned up super fast now I gotta get me some uh, some brake cleaner we'll give her a little horse bath and we'll throw it back in you can definitely tell <laughs> By the way, I use my brake part cleaner that I actually pay for it. Man, if it's if the company pays for it, I'll break the top off and just let it rain. But me? Sheesh, that shit ain't cheap. I'll just, uh, and that's it. Look at this. That <laughs> car had been sitting for so long gear oil actually left a stain inside the cover that thing has been parked as far as I know since whew, like the late 90s I think maybe maybe early 2000s but I don't think it had been moved because in my whole life I remember that car sitting in the exact same spot in the guy's front yard never moved he never drove it because it had engine problems and he had a lot of health issues from a really bad motorcycle accident but it never moved it just sat in his front yard forever and then you know things happened and he passed and i bought it from his girlfriend i guess it is so that makes total sense why there's a stain on the diff cover now I'm going to slide into the car, clean a little bit of gear oil off real quick, squeeze some right stuff on this thing, because if you ain't using right stuff, don't waste your time with any other silicone. I'm going to put some right stuff on this thing, and I'm going to get it bolted back on, but I'm not going to bore you guys with that kind of stuff, because it's not exciting, it's not fun to watch, can't really learn nothing. So, come on, there we go, oh yeah. Squishy. Man, they make this shit look so much easier on TV. Holding a camera and putting silicone on at the same time. You wipe the excess off. And then I... Take a little screw here. And I thread it right down into the damn end. Keep it sealed. Because this is what happens when you don't. And that's a brand new can of right stuff. So yeah, any way you can seal off the top of your bottles, seal off the top of your bottles, it'll save you such a headache. Sticking around to the end, if you feel up to it, like the video, sub to the channel, click the little bell thing. It'll tell you every time I post. Remember, guys, your dreams won't work unless you do. So get outside and build something.